but they don't all. <laughs> There's definitely a lot of older people who are not wise. And it's the same way, in general, a lot of youth are not wise because they just haven't learned a lot yet. And if you haven't been raised properly, there's a lot uh, of knowledge missing that in the youth. But again, it's not all youths that are unwise, and it's not all older people that are wise. So you can't just, just assume things based off of that. But how do you combat that? How do you fight against that as a youth? Look what he says. Let no man despise that youth. This is verse number 12. But be thou an example of the believers. So you want people to respect you? You want people to let you know, the, the, to not think, oh man, you're just a youth. What do you know? Start off by being an example. Okay? Live it. Breathe it. You speak it. You talk it. You walk it. You're respectful. You're doing things the way you ought to be. And you know what? People will see that and they'll give you an extra level of respect just because they can see the example that you're given. And here's the example we're saying, be example of believers in word, right? How you speak, what do you say? How do you carry yourself? Do you talk just like, uh, you know, like the youths and in, in, in some foolish talking and jargon and just kind of be a joker or whatever? Or are you going to be a little bit more sober and a little bit more serious and someone that, you can, that can take you seriously in conversation? Again, conversation isn't necessarily just you know, communicating with your mouth between two people. It's an older word. It just has more to do with how you present yourself and how you carry yourself. Your conversation has a lot to do with not just your speech, but also your actions. So you're saying if you're an example in your word, your example in your conversation, your example in charity, right? And you're caring for other people, your love for other people. Hey, that shows a lot of, of growth and a lot of spiritual maturity when you can care about other people and you can demonstrate that it's not just me, 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 because oftentimes that's what you think about. And it makes perfect sense. Think, think about like the holidays, right? Think about we're getting close to Christmas time. And I was no different as a child. Why was Christmas my favorite holiday? Because we got Christmas gifts. Because we got presents. It's, it's what children think about. That's what they like. It's cool. I'm going to get stuff. I'm going to get a toy. I'm going to get whatever, right? They're, they're real self-centered. And you know what? It's okay when you're a child because that's how children behave. Obviously, you ought to be taught and learn and grow. And by the time you become an adult, hopefully you're not just thinking, oh, cool, it's Christmas. What are people going to buy me? <laughs> hopefully you'll learn and gain the wisdom of understanding that it's more blessed to give than to receive. Because that is a very true statement, and, that is, and, and, and you know, that's one of the reasons for giving gifts is to show your love on other people, and, and you know, by doing that, you will be blessed anyways. It's a much better thing to give than to receive, but that's something that you should you, you hopefully have gained by the time you become an adult or young man. You're not thinking just about yourself. So having charity is a similar concept. You're caring about other people. You're loving other people. Um, in charity, in spirit, and in faith, right? So you are very faith, a faithful person. Your, your spirit, you have a good spirit about you. You know how to control yourself. You're well-tempered. In purity, okay? You're not just off in a bunch of sin either. Because again, another thing that, that is typical of a lot of youth is get into youthful sins and youthful lusts and things that characterize the youth. If you want people to respect you and not despise your youth, don't do those things. Carry yourself well, speak well, care for other people, have a good spirit about you, be very faithful, and, and be pure. Okay, it's not impossible. Verse 13 says, Till I come, give attendance to reading, to exhortation, to doctrine. Neglect not the gift that is in thee, which was given thee by prophecy with the laying on the, of the hands of the presbytery. And this is just, you know, I kind of, I'm going to keep reading here just because this demonstrates and shows. He was ordained, you know, Timothy was ordained and became an elder of a church because the hands of the presbytery laid their hands on him. He received a gift, but not only did he receive gifts, he was also authorized and ordained to uh, be a pastor of another church even though he's considered a youth. 